Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average. Today I'm going to be drawing the slime girls that I drew last time. But this time I'm going to do something a bit different and to use paper cutout art. I've done this a few times on my channel so I haven't done it in ages and I really wanted to try it out again and I thought it would be really fun to do and yeah I just wanted to draw these girls again and I had this progression idea in my head that one of them, the nerdy girl who I think you can tell is probably my favourite character, she's getting powers now where she just gets slime coming out of her hands. I know that's a pretty lame um, superpower but like I said before in the last um, video I drew of them, I think her power will be that she creates slime somehow but then she sells it because there's such a slime fad going on so she can she, she becomes quite rich um, selling these to her school friends and then eventually in the story she'll become um, internet famous with um, on Instagram and stuff selling her slimes I just thought it'd be a fun little idea because you know it looks like it could be the worst power that you have slime just coming out of your hands whenever you want but she turns it into a positive and she markets herself to create all these things and I think that would be like a really cool storyline, a really weird storyline for sure but yeah, uh, something that I would like to read about so I thought I would create a story in that way. As for the other two girls, I have no idea what their powers are yet. I think it might need to have to do with slime obviously but I think one of them might be able to fly or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that would work with slime, just air bubbles of pockets of uh, slime. So if anybody has any ideas, throw them my way, that would be cool, we can make the story together. Creating these characters. So talking about the illustration, I wanted to do paper cutout art like I have done before. And what I've done is I was using a quite um, good watercolour paper for the main drawing of the girl that you see here. But then I was using the background, um, I was using some rough, um, not rough, but like cheaper watercolour paper that I got from Tiger. And the paper isn't as good, but I used it for the background. And then I also used it for the two girls, which you will see coming up. And then I'll talk about that a little bit more then. But um, enjoy some peel, peel porn for now. This was really satisfying to do, so I hope you guys like it as well. I, I think I was like, oh, I'll have a stripy wall colour paper just so I could do this because I think this is so fun and satisfying when you do this so you peel it off and it's just that perfect crisp line there's nothing better in the world than the crisp line <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying by the way yeah so I just wanted to draw these girls again because I think as I'm sitting there all week at work I'm just thinking of all these things that I could be drawing at home and one of them that kept popping into my mind were these three girls and their conundrum of their superpowers or maybe maybe mundane powers maybe that's the story because obviously this one gets pretty pretty raw deal with just being able to create slime but she turns it into something and yeah maybe maybe it's just her who gets slime but the other girls um you know they're her friends so they become part of the slime industry so just using a standard scalpel is it <laughs> is it do you call it a scalpel knife if it's not in reference to like surgery or something i don't know paper knife somebody tell me and yeah just took this and i'm cutting out her because she's going to be the background's going to be a layer and then she's going to be a layer and then she's going to have slime coming out of her hands and then in the foreground we will see the two friends who will be like what's going on which was quite fun because I've never really played with um, having characters in paper art before. Just having that perspective on human beings being in the image as well. When I first started drawing these two girls, I was really struggling. I don't know why. I just couldn't get I couldn't get them right. And I thought, oh no, this these are going to be rubbish. But actually, I really like the way that they came out. And I really like the way how thick I did the line, the outline of them overall. I think it really works nicely with the brush pen here. I'm using my Crumb brush pen. Crumb. Mm -hmm. Brush pen, and I just think it looks super nice. The quality is good. Um, as I said before, I was struggling a bit because this is the cheap. Cheap. Tiger uh, watercolour paper so when I went to paint it it was kind of really toothy but then it wasn't really absorbing the paint very well so it came out a bit textured but obviously I've said that in the past that I don't really mind that but when it came to painting their skin you could it was really obvious that it just looked a bit patchy and stuff so I had to do um, the skin layers a few times and then the paper was coming up a bit so it was a bit of a struggle but in the end I think it worked out just wish that I had done it on nicer paper to begin with 
but hey, you live, you learn. So here's the girl and I'm just trying to arrange everything now and stick everything down to be in the correct position. I kind of painted a bit of sh shadow behind her which in the end turns out to be useless which you'll see when you see what happens at the end. I used tracing paper to create the slime. I thought it would be, I don't know why I thought it would work better than it did and I used some random glue to paint, stick these down and I think it looks cool. It looks. It comes out quite nice, but I think I could have thought of a more interesting way to show the slime. But I think it looks okay. Um, I just wish I could have used maybe more see-through paper or something. Maybe some plastic sheeting, I don't know. But it looks alright. I have. To, I go in later and go over the hands to give it more definition and show that it's slime. I think I'm just not very good at slime, drawing slime, which obviously I should get quite good at if I start to draw these girls more often. So yeah, I was just going over some details for these two girls and just going over the skin um, of the pink hair girl because it just came out really patchy for some reason so I wanted to darken her a bit because it, it came out much lighter than the colour I put down as well so overall I think it looks they look quite nice the way that they came out so just cutting these gals out and going over them again just making sure everything's dry before I commit to sticking them down because I don't want an accident I wanted to give her some rosy cheeks, so I went in with a Faber-Castell pencil. Having a lot of fun with using these new watercolours that I bought in Singapore and also um, Faber-Castell pencils which I got in September for my birthday and I just love them. I just, whenever I use them I think they just make everything look instantly better. Had to do a little bit of surgery on the blonde hair girl because <laughs> the legs were sort of sticking out of the faces of the two girls in the foreground. I had to move everything slightly around but that was okay because I hadn't really committed to anything except for the shadow which I just decided to paint but you can't really see it, the shadow anyway because it's covered up by the girls in the foreground so it kind of worked out. <laughs> I just love playing with the different levels that you can get with paper art. Um, I just think it's really fun and interesting thing to do, manipulate stuff with your hands. It's definitely definitely takes more time um, than just doing one flat illustration but it's just it's really enjoyable so I just I want to do more paper art I just think it's fun it just all depends on time so yeah I just went over and gave the hands a little bit more definition so you can see it through the slime and I like how it does look like it's kind of dripping down and maybe the girls in the foreground were in an argument and then she's just like hey guys I think we've got a problem and that's kind of the scene in my head so that's the finished product again let me know what you think the other two girls powers would be mundane or not I also need names for the characters so if you can think of any names comment down below and maybe I'll pick them but thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time bye